I'm really excited. I mean, you, you work a long time for a moment like this, and it's finally time to get this movie out in the world. Uh, you know, we're really encouraged by the positive response so far, and I'm really glad that it's finally time for audiences to get their eyes on it. Uh, I hope they're inspired by Carol and inspired by her journey, uh, and I hope they find a hero they can look up to in her and, and get excited to see her as uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward. I think we always know that we're going to be putting out an IMAX version of the movie, and that really helps us kind of compose for IMAX, just always kind of having that in the back of our minds. Um, it's great because IMAX is amazing with scope and scale uh, and with huge shots and visual effects, and that's a lot of what we do. Um, so knowing that that's on the horizon really helps us kind of guide the movie in a way that's going to bring it to, to an IMAX kind of ready state. Uh, I think if you've seen her in any of the roles leading up to Captain Marvel, you can kind of see the root of it in there. Uh, in Short Turn 12, in Room, certainly in her body of work leading up to this film, she's shown a lot of emotion and a lot of strength and a lot of heart. Um, and that, those were kind of the key components that we wanted to bring to Captain Marvel. Uh, and so kind of being able to look back at those movies gave us not just confidence, but utter confidence that she could uh, embody Carol Danvers in the best possible way. The movie's really about humanity um, and allowing one's humanity to kind of come to the forefront uh, and not rejecting it. Um, and we hope that kind of people, people who see the movie come away with that message and kind of embrace that part of themselves, uh, embrace the, the emotions of their lives and, and don't, uh, don't shy away from it.